the um, healing modality. Please, uh, Chief Phil, let's go a little bit deeper in yes. medicine. And I want to say, some people call it the, the teachings of the four directions. Carl Jung, by the way, yes. um, in his early years, traveled all over the world, primarily to indigenous cultures, and he even made a new word called quaternity, and that is things come in fours. The sun, the moon, the clouds, and the stars. Um, of course, you have the, the 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 earth, the air, the water, and the fire, and then the fifth is the space. Yes. There's space too, so there's actually five. And in the medicine wheel, of course, our fifth point is the center. Mm -hmm. That's called volition. Um, but in this great vision of Black Elk, who was our great, who was a great great. Uh, Lakota visionary. In this one part of his vision, he he tells the whole story of what indigenous people will go through, the suffering and so forth, but we'll finally come to that day when he said he came to the highest mountain of all, and he looked down below and he saw the sacred hoop of his people. And he said it's a sacred hoop of many hoops, meaning that, that this was all human beings, all the human family, which is so important to understand. Yes. You know, really, I mean, we're we may look different shades, we may be male, female, but the soul does not have a gender. A soul does not have a, a race. A soul does not have ethnicity, and a soul does not have a class. The no. soul is divine. It's beyond this physical world. That's right. And so I remember in this one part of the vision, uh, and I, I heard many, many years ago, and it really set the tone for my journey in this life. It said... Um, when he's on the highest mountain of all, he looked to the east, and two men were coming flying like arrows, and between them rose the daybreak star with four blossoms, red, yellow, black, and white. And they said, with this herb of understanding, you shall have power over all things. And I took it and dropped it upon the earth, and where it fell, there was no more darkness. So I realized this... Uh, herb of understanding, this daybreak star herb, four blossoms, red, yellow, black, and white, to me symbolized the different uh, dimensions of the human family. You know, yes. obviously we're not uh, exactly red or exactly this, but what it means is that, that really the herb of understanding is all of us. And even this coming together and sharing, this tremendous time of sharing, what a treasure we all have. Yes. From all over Mother Earth. And so what that led me to over the last 48 years is a very conscious openness to learn from every culture, every spiritual tradition I could. Mm -hmm. Because I believe the source is one. Absolutely, the source is one. There is only one source. Only one source. <laughs>